Hi, my name is Ty Lewis, also known as CEO Ty, and I am the CEO and founder of Educationally Speaking Center for Learning. So today we are going to look at a website called ReadWorks, and the website address is readworks.org. It is a website that focuses on the area of comprehension, which is the fifth area of reading. I love this website because you can search for passages um, by the Lexile level, the grade level, whether or not it's an informational or a literary text, if it's paired with another passage or by the skill and strategies. We're going to look at the website today and I'm going to teach you how to log in and sign up. It is free. There is nothing better than a website that works that is free. I'm going to show you how to assign a class, um, whether you're a parent or an educator, give the child assignments. And the best thing about this is that the child or the student can answer questions online, press submit, and it will come right back to you graded. How awesome is that? So I love it because you get to look at at the data and see where the child has a deficit or what skill or strategy they need to work on. So let's dive in. I hope that you guys are ready to get into this website. And so I'm about to share my screen with you. If I'm looking back and forth, please don't think that I'm crazy. All right. When you type in readworks.org, you're going to come to the screen. Of course, if you don't have an account, you have to sign up. And it says educators sign up, but parents can also sign up as well. You just fill in your information and hit sign up. Because I already have an account, which is free. Who does not like free, honey? I love free. So once you log into your account, this is going to pop up. I love this because you are able to integrate your Google Classroom into ReadWorks. I don't have a Google Classroom, so I'm just going to click close. All right. This is the main page. So you have the content, which is this page, your list, which are articles that you've assigned to students, your assignments, the assignments, I'm sorry, and progress of your students and class admin. Again, this is the area where you're looking for content. My list, I deleted everything out. Assignments and progress. These are dummy assignments that I put in here so that you guys can see. So these are the current assignments that I assigned to my class. I uh, labeled happy. Future assignments, you also have the ability to create future assignments. Past assignments are assignments that you've already given the students and you get to see the student progress. So again, this is something that I already did so that you would be able to see it in here. So I just clicked on an answer that I wanted to click on. And so it shows you the students right here, as well as the month. The articles read, if they're nonfiction or literary articles, and the amount of articles that the student read. If you go here, the comprehension questions, it shows the question set submitted, the correct graded, and I love this because ReadWorks grades this for you. You don't have to do any work. The only time you're grading is on the written response. So I love this. And the percentage correct. Oh my gosh, I failed. So because I failed, you know that you have to do a reteach on this skill. And then skills and strategies, vocabulary activities, and I didn't do any paired text, and article for the day, all right? So I'm going back to content. If you look up here, you have social studies, science, literary, skills and strategies, which are aligned to the standards. So if I wanted to choose character, if we're working on that skill 
and I would go back to all topics and then click the grade level and it will populate a list of reading passages that are um, in the, or are paired to the standard for character and I get to choose the Lexi level. All right, and it will populate passages. The type of product, whether or not it has an um, audio, and I love this because some of the passages on here, they have a person reading to you so or to the child. So if a child has a deficit in the area of reading, they don't have to struggle. The passage can be read to them. Um, I can decide whether I want question set, a vocabulary activity, and that's for grades K through five, with an ebook, a paired text, and the text type, whether informational, and I'll choose informational, and I'm going to click on this passage, solids and liquids. They give you the details on the right-hand side. So it's a science article in physical science, second grade, it has 111 words. The Lexile level is 480 in its informational text. It also has vocabulary to go along with the passage. Here are the standards. And then they have the paired text and the article a day set that goes along with this article. Okay, so I'm going to assign this article because we're doing character and I want to assign this article to my class. I click on, let me do it again, I click on assign. So you can assign, print, or project on the board. Uh-oh, I don't want to print. All right, I'm going to assign this article. I want the article, I want it to come with the audio. Comprehension questions, I also want to include vocabulary. I'm assigning it to my class. I created a class and I will go in and show you guys how to do this. I want to assign it to my class, Happy. And you can either assign it to your whole class or to specific students. So if you did a small group and you want to reteach this standard, then you can assign it to the specific students that were in that small group. Okay, so you have the assignment start date and then when the assignment is due and boom, I click assign. Then I click okay, all right? So I go to my class admin and I've already created a class so that you can see, but you can do this, create a class. You can either import from Google Classroom or create a new class. I'm going to click create a new class the grade level, I'll say first grade, class name, my class, next. Okay, so you go do the Google sign in if you have Google Classroom or create your own. With your roster, I'm going to type in CEO Ty. Add the student, I'm finished. They're going to give you the password, all right? So the password is one, two, three, four. You can press okay or add more students. Your students can change their individual passwords. All right, so this is my class. On the right hand side, they're going to show you how to get to their assignment. So it's readworks.org backslash student. This is the class code, their default password. Let me copy this so that I can paste it. Okay, so that's how you create a class. So let me go in, find content. I'm just going to click on this. I'm going to assign it to my class. Wait a minute. All right, assign. Here it is, all right? I'm going to log out and log into the website as a student. And it's already here for you, student login. Class code, I'm cutting it, well, I'm cutting and pasting because I can't remember. Search for my name, ooh, I see my name. 
All right, password. One, two, three, four. Boom. My assignment is here. I'm clicking. Here's the assignment. And I didn't include reading um, audio on this one. Here are my questions. So questions. So I read boom, 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 boom. I'm finished. All right, questions. I'm clicking. Teacher needs to grade this or you as a parent. I submit it. Okay, submit. Return to assignments. I don't have any more assignments due. I'm going to log out. Now I'm logging back in as the teacher. You see my favorite uh, website to read theory and read works. I'm logging in again as the teacher or the parent. All right, now I'm going to go my class and it will bring up the current assignment. So again, when you log back in as the teacher, you go to assignments and progress. If you have more than one class, it's going to show your classes right here. My class, boom, I have a submission. So I get to click on class results and then I see the data for my students. So. This is CEO Ty, and I received a 57%. That means I didn't understand character. I failed. And the written portion needs grading. If you click on here, you, can, you have reassign options. I can redo the assignment or revise. I'm going to click revise. All right, so I re reassigned that passage to my child or to the student in the classroom. So you can print or export. Um, you can print it for your child's portfolio just so that you can keep up with their data. You, as a teacher, you're able to grade. All right, so you can either say it's correct or give me partial credit or say it's incorrect and you can write a note to me. Girl, you are amazing. Yes, I am. Okay. So let me click out of this. All right, I hope that this helps you on this journey and please make sure that you are visiting the blog educationally speaking.blog that you're visiting our website educationally speaking.net as well as our instagram page and facebook page educationally speaking um, if you need help with anything please don't hesitate to reach out i'm always available because I want to make sure you win and your child wins. My email is educatespeak at gmail.com. If you have any questions about this website, um, please shoot me an email or DM me on social media. I hope that you have, I hope that you guys have an amazing day. See you later.